welcome back to the channel guys. I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day. Today we're gonna to be talking about how to drive a manual car. And I know there's like thousands of videos out there on how to do this, but the way I've experienced things is that everybody explains things a little bit different. Everybody has different tips and tricks. So I've watched plenty of videos on the same subject. The first five didn't really teach me anything, but by the time I got to number six, I learned something and it's strictly to do with the way people explain things or maybe like a certain tip that nobody else mentions. So I know there's thousands of these videos out there, but today I'm gonna give you a how to drive manual transmission video. And this is gonna be the way I learned my tips, my tricks, and maybe they'll help some of you guys out that are still struggling. But before this video gets started, I just wanna say driving a manual does not make you cool. If you're, if you're looking at this video because you're deciding on a manual versus an auto and you wanna see how to drive a manual and blah, 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 driving a manual does not make you cool. Buying a manual to impress people does nothing for you. At the end of the day, you're the one that has to drive your car everywhere you have to go. And if you're not happy every time you sit down in your car and you drive it, don't buy a manual, simple as that. I'm sure some people will say whatever they say, but it's not about them, it's about you. Now that I have said that, we're gonna move on. I'm assuming that you guys have a basic understanding of how a car works, a manual car that is, um, but just in case you don't, I'm gonna try and be as quick and straight to the point as possible with this video, because that's the way I like my videos. But I'm gonna try and uh, fill you guys in if you're maybe a little bit newer and you have no idea what's going on. So let's start with just like straight basics really quick. I'm assuming you guys know what this thing is here. And I'm assuming that you guys know that first goes first, then you go to second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth in that order. And reverse in my car is up and over to the left, but everybody has their own little lockout or position to get into reverse. But I'm assuming that you guys know how to go from first to second, third, fourth, five, six, how to count numbers. And if you don't already know, we have three pedals in a manual, not two, so gas, brakes and of course your clutch which is the new one to those of you who came from an auto everything else stays the same a car is basically the same it's just uh, those two things that are a little bit different I guess so hopping straight into it the way that I learned and the way that I like to explain it to people your clutch is go and the gas is how fast so essentially when you start letting your clutch out your car will start to move on its own without gas your gas just controls how much you go and if you give it too much, you're gonna burn the crap out of your clutch. If you don't give it enough and you let the clutch out too quick, you'll stall. But basically, that's the way you have to think of it. Your clutch is what makes you stop and go, not how much gas you're giving it. And for those of you that are new and you're like a little bit nervous about burning your clutch and whatever, clutches, think about the fact that they're designed to do this. They're designed to be daily driven, start and stop in traffic, on hills, everything. That's what a clutch's life is built to do. So believe me, I know you're learning and I know you're scared of hurting your clutch and people tell you horror stories, but you're not gonna kill your clutch. It's not that easy, that's its job. Its job is to start your car from a stop over and over and over and over for its whole life. So don't freak yourself out that you're gonna burn it out right away, cause you're not. Anyways, clutches go. I will show you guys exactly what I mean right here. So just for those of you that may not be understanding right now, all I'm gonna do is just clutch in, put the car in first, let that car go by, and then basically, what you're gonna be seeing me do is just let the clutch out slowly and go. Now we're moving. There was no gas involved, it was a little jolty because I was in a little bit of a pothole, but you get the idea, clutch is go. Now the first thing you're gonna need to do to learn how to drive manual is learn your bite point. So every car has a different clutch and every clutch has a different bite point. And basically what the bite point is, is when the clutch is fully depressed and you put your car into gear, as you let the clutch out, it'll start to grab. And you'll notice this in two ways. One, the car will start to move. If you have an exhaust, you'll hear it. Um, and two, your tachometer will start to drop down a little bit. So your, your uh, RPMs will actually get a little bit lower as the car starts to go into gear, then they'll bring themselves back up slowly. So what you're gonna wanna do is find your bite point and I'll show you guys what I mean. So basically, I'm gonna go ahead and put the car in gear. And then we're just gonna let the clutch out slowly. And then you see that? See how the RPMs dipped and then came back up all by themselves? I never gave it gas. That is your bite point. That is the point at which your clutch starts to engage and everything starts to work as one and move your car forwards. And I showed you up here and obviously the second way is just when your car starts moving, then you know you found it. So the first thing you're gonna have to do is find the bite point. Another thing you can do is you can feel for when the clutch starts to really wanna push back. So for instance, my car, there's like a little bit of dead space where it's kind of squishy. And then as you get it up, you'll feel the pressure start to come on the bottom of your foot and you know that you have now hit the bite point because it's really just trying to force itself back up. But basically you're gonna to wanna to find that bite point and then go to step two. And step two 
is going to be practicing getting your RPMs right. Now, some of you may skip this, some of you may do this, but basically when I start driving, I try to keep my RPMs between 1,000 and 1,500 um, on a flat to a little bit of an incline. I don't really feel like there's a need to do more than that. So basically what you're gonna wanna do is just find out how sensitive your gas pedal is. And basically just feather the gas, just to bring it up to about 1,000. Because that's where I start every single time I drive my car. And you're just gonna wanna see how sensitive is your clutch, or your gas, I mean. Because for example, look at my gas. To get it to a thousand, this is how hard I gotta press it. Ready? My foot's just touching. That's it. I barely have to move it at all. I'm bringing my foot all the way off when I do that too. So my gas is super, super sensitive, so I don't need to give it a lot, but everybody's got their own. So learn those two things. Those two things cannot be talked about any longer. There's two things that you have to go figure out how they work in your own car before you move on to step three, and step three is gonna be putting them together and starting to move your car. So basically to do so, when you're learning, what you're gonna to wanna to do is let it out till you feel the bite point, then apply a little bit of gas, and then start to drive. Once you start taking it to the street, what I do is basically just give it a little bit of gas as I'm letting it out so that it all mixes into one and you just drive away. But to learn, what you're gonna to wanna to do is just let it out till you feel the bite point, hold it on the bite point just for a second or two, give it some gas, and go. And that's the key with the bite point is when you're starting your car, you wanna let the clutch out, hold it just a little bit, and then keep going. For the rest of the gears, you just wanna be as smooth as you can with the clutch in and out, nice and smooth. But for first, you're gonna to wanna to hold it right at the bite point just for a second to let everything start to work together. Clutch in, first gear, let the clutch out slowly. I feel the bite point, a little bit of gas, letting the clutch out all the way out, foot's on the dead pedal, and we're rolling. And now manual cars make funny noises, so when you're learning, if it's a noise that you don't think you've heard before or a noise that sounds like something might be breaking, don't worry, you're fine. They make a lot of different noises because everything engages differently in a manual car and it's things that you might not be used to but they're perfectly normal so don't worry about the noises. So what you're going to want to do is practice that now. Find somewhere you can practice it. I'm just in a parking lot by the library. There's nobody else around me here. It's just starting to rain. You can do this on a quiet street. You can do this basically anywhere but what you have to do is just start and start and start and start. What I would recommend is stop the car like I am right now, go into first gear, drive a little bit, and then once you're off the clutch and you're just rolling, um, then you're gonna wanna stop and do it again. That's what This is what cars are built to do, so don't worry about it, and don't worry about looking like an idiot. I said there's an open parking lot in front of me, but behind me, it's just cars. I don't know, how, oh, my mic's hit, my mic hits. But it's just cars behind me, and there's people walking around. Who cares? It's not about that, it's about learning. And when you take it to the road for the first time, don't worry about the guy behind you. What I like to do when, when I first learned was just pretend my mirror didn't exist when I was at a stop. I just wouldn't look at it, it's not there, don't know what's going on, and just be comfortable. You're gonna, you're gonna roll, and that's the way it is, and you're gonna have enough room, don't worry about it. Don't worry about what anybody else thinks if you're going slow, fast, doesn't matter. You learn at your own pace. And then you're gonna wanna try and practice going into second gear. Now for us, Subi owners, it's not easy. And not every car goes into second perfectly smooth and the way you wish it would. So sometimes you have to give it a little bit of gas. For me, enough gas is just touching my foot to the gas. That's it. I don't need to press, I don't need to do anything, but just putting, resting my foot on the gas pedal is enough to make it smoother. So basically what you're gonna wanna do once you're comfortable with going into first gear is uh, try and get into second gear. And you do that the same way, except when your clutch is coming out, no holding it. So what you're gonna do is just clutch out. So you're gonna start in first like I showed you, clutch halfway out, bite point, and make sure that you're all comfortable with that. Once you start to roll, then you're gonna drive. I usually shift about 3,000, 3,500 RPM because that's my car, that's the way it tells me it wants to be driven. And if I shift any lower, I find there's no power when I get into the next gear, and when I go any higher, I just find it's obnoxiously screaming. So every car is different in that sense too. You'll learn that, you'll start to understand that, but I shift about 3,500 RPMs. That's the way my car likes to be driven. You're gonna drive, 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 clutch all the way in, second gear and then let the clutch out nice and smooth. So watch the GoPro clutch cam here um, because you'll see my foot just touch the gas. I'm, I promise you guys I'm not revving it so try, don't try and do that. Um, but just watch what I do and you'll probably understand. So I'm gonna go ahead, put the car in first gear and start driving. Okay, so now I'm off, I'm moving. We're just gonna come around the parking lot over here and then I'll, I'll shift into second over here. So let's say we get up to a little bit of speed here and then just clutch in second and smoothly out. And that's all it takes. And once you've gone ahead and mastered getting into first and then getting out of it and into second, the rest is basically on repeat. So what you're gonna wanna do is just make sure you always practice smooth clutch control. You don't wanna be dumping it. You wanna go into first with a little bit of a hold and then release and then you're just into second and out. 
and into third and out. And you just keep wanting to do that with every gear. You don't want to hesitate, you don't want to dump it, you want to just be as smooth as possible. So now as far as the basics of driving a manual, that's basically covered it. I'm going to go hit the road and show you guys like a real life kind of scenario and what it looks like when it's all happening at the same time. So let's go hit the road. If you notice some weird noises, apparently my, my spring started binding like five seconds ago on my coilovers if you listen to this. So that's great news. That's like, that's painful. That happened once before and I thought I fixed it, but I guess I didn't. I'm gonna have to take a look at that before it explodes. If you hear that, don't worry about it. That's my spring bind. Everything else, just watch and try and learn the best that you can. I'm gonna try and give you guys like a what it looks like in motion, smoothly, regularly kind of video uh, and hope that that helps you. So we're gonna come, make sure you're in neutral. Don't hold your clutch or anything in. Basically, first gear, gas, start going. We're gonna get up to second. Just keep going, make sure that you keep that clutch smooth when you do it, same thing, clutch smooth in, smooth out, and you're good as gold. Just give it a little more gas if you wanna go into fourth. Smooth in, smooth out. It's, it's that easy, guys, don't overcomplicate. So that's it, this was more of a beginner's guide on how to drive a manual. If you want more advanced techniques, let me know because I can give them to you. And like I said, be sure to check out the five things not to do in a manual video if you have not already seen it, because that's important when you're first learning. There are five tips on what you really shouldn't be doing. So just remember the basics of what I taught you guys. It's, it's super easy. Um, don't overcomplicate it. Don't worry about what anybody else is doing in front of you, behind you. Worry about yourself and learning. And once you have it down pat, you'll be good as gold and then you'll be driving just like everybody else. There's no need to panic. Think about what anybody else is thinking. It's it's really not worth freaking out over. Just drive calmly and cool and collected and you will get a hang of it. It's really not that hard. That's all I have for you guys today. Make sure you leave a big thumbs up if you did like this video and it helped you out. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already subscribed because you don't want to miss any other awesome content. I will catch you next time guys. Peace out and make sure you stay committed.